Okay, so I'm working with a 2008 Audi S5 Quattro stick shift, and uh, I'm doing the catalytic converters in it or on it. I didn't find any videos about this job on the internet, so I figure I'd post this. First of all, don't recommend this doing doing this on the floor. Um, it's definitely doable, but it's yeah. Don't I mean it? It's just a pain in the ass. So you're gonna need a bunch of little tools like this, swivels and whatnot, because I mean there's really very, very, very minimal space. And if we look under here, oh, yeah, there's the, uh, I mean, I'm not even done. Um, but I got the new one in place. And uh, this side's done. Uh, there you go. So basically what I had to do is lower the transmission and the subframe. As you guys can see there, right there. And um, that side, that's pretty easy. I mean, relatively speaking, you pop this off and then I forget what else, this guy, but it's not too, I mean, it's still pretty difficult, but once you get to this side, you're like, holy shit, that was way easier. Um, so this side is the side where you have to, sorry, uh, lower all this shit to get to it. Um, when you're putting it back on, be mindful. Take off this stupid, that shit that goes on here, uh, right there and right there. Take, take that off, because otherwise you won't be able to get the... Uh, there's an oxygen sensor that goes under a coolant pipe. There's the oxygen sensor. There's the coolant pipe. Uh, I was having trouble, you know, getting it to sit on the flange because it was hitting on, the oxygen sensor was hitting on that uh, coolant pipe and I couldn't go any lower because this stupid thing that was in the way. So one, once I took this off, I was able to, you know, get it on the flange. Um, also, if you do this, disconnect, I can't really show you from here because there's very little room. Let me see. Disconnect, if you do do it on the ground, which hopefully you don't have to. Um, this coolant hose, that one that goes to the heater core, disconnected. Um, because, I mean, I was, you know, pretty... I just wanted to get it done, so I started lowering shit, and that, that broke. Um, so that was my fault not being careful. But definitely disconnect that, uh, because, I mean, the other way, I guess, to do this is to lower the transmission all the way. And, I mean, I didn't want to do that. Um, I didn't think it was going to get this complicated. So, unless, yeah, I mean, unless you want to remove your transmission, then I guess this would be cake, you know, just pop off the cats. Uh, but other, otherwise, you would have to lower your your subframe and your transmission as much as possible. And then, you know, that's when you're going to have to disconnect that so it doesn't break like it did on me. And still, once you do that, getting this guy off is going to be quite the squeeze. Sorry. Because you're going to have, I mean, just pretty much from here. Oops, sorry. From here to there to there to get that guy out of there. So, yeah, not 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 fun at all. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, just, you know, the O2 sensor connectors are pretty easy to get from the top. And, uh, I'm gonna hopefully, I mean, I, you know, I think the, the hardest part is done. I just have to put everything back together. Hopefully I don't run into any more crap. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's not that simple to do this, to replace these catalytic converters. Uh, you know. You gotta lower a lot to, to make room and then you still don't have a lot of room. Um, so yeah, if, if anybody, you know, finds this video helpful for some reason and you have any questions or anything, you know, let me know and I'll, and I'll uh, try to help you as much as possible. 
Okay, so I'm pretty much done putting this back together. I can't start it because, like I said, I lost coolant and I don't have the coolant right now. But everything under here is put back together. Transmissions. Oops. Uh, transmissions back into place. These are the four bolts. Then you have the drop. Soft frame is back in place. And uh, there. Um, another thing that I should mention is I didn't have any problems with it, but if you do lower this, be careful with that clutch line. Uh, because if you break that, you know, that's, that's also quite the task to do so. Avoid yourself that problem by being very careful with that. Um, and yeah, if you, I mean, as you can see here, you can barely see the cat now. Now that everything is back where it's supposed to be. And, uh, yeah, not a lot of room. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. That's the plate that I was talking about that you have to remove in order to get the cat to go back in the flange. Um, other than that, I think that's it. Hope this helps somebody out. Later.